Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. At the Cova da Iria on the 13th of May, the Virgin Maria appeared at midday. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Hail, Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. We gather on a significant day, the 13th, a day very close to Our Lady, as we know from Fatima, and this hallowed place, remembering the words of St. Peter on the mountain of transfiguration. Lord, it is good for us to be here. We begin, we call to mind our faults and failings. We ask the Lord's pardon and forgiveness as we say, I confess to Almighty God that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of, of mind and body. And through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, may we be set free from this present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We sit for the readings. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne. You see this city? Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears with their eyes. There will be no more death and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, you are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth, and may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our race. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings, since you did not consider your own life 
when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest honour of our race. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promise made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clovis and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. In life, um, as we know, uh, the one who will always stand up for you is your mother. No matter how things may go badly wrong, and it will be your mother will always be the one who will defend you. And so it is natural then that our Heavenly Mother should defend us. As the great Saint John Vianney said, the love of earthly mothers is but a pale shadow of the love of our Holy Mother for us. Today, as we gather on the 13th of November, we are reminded of this fact of the loving care of the Virgin Mary, who defends us from the moment of conception until the day we are called from this earth. What a privilege to be here. As again we say with St. Peter, Lord, it is good for us to be here, to renew our devotion to the Heavenly Mother, and to entrust to her our own personal needs, the needs of our families, of our parishes of our country, the church, and the whole world as we listen to the prayer of the faithful. For all the faithful that by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ. We pray to the Lord. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they may be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. For those who govern na nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world, and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world. We pray to the Lord. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the co contemplation of cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life. We pray to the Lord. For all of us here present and for our families, and that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel, we pray to the Lord. The prayer over the offering says, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered and no request be made in vain. 
in the silence of our hearts, we make those prayers now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death, amen. God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supplications of your people and the prayers of Mary, Mother of your Son, the Mother of the Church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith, and we ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Father, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. Jesus, Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of the name of our Lord and of all the Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial victims, with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered nor request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty, eternal God. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. <clears throat> For truly even to her sins you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us to her, the author of our salvation, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him the host of the angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. <clears throat> May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim together. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is she who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. And welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, Padre Pio, Saints Francesco and Jacinta Marto, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty God, the forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus has taught us to pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Lord, my soul shall be healed.
remembering Our Lady's message, God wishes to establish in the world devotion to my Immaculate Heart, an opportune time now to after communion, to consecrate ourselves, our families, our parishes, our country, the whole world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Soothe me with joy, alleluia. His holy presence is my robe, alleluia. My soul now glorify the Lord who is my Savior. Rejoice for who am I that God should show me favor. God fills me with joy, alleluia. His holy presence is my robe, alleluia. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, <coughs> which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. There's a blessing today. There are three parts to the blessing. Amen is the answer to each part of this beautiful blessing. blessing of the masses of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord be with you. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you, your families, your parish, your country, and the whole world with his blessing. Amen. Amen. May you always and everywhere know the protection of her, through whom you, whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. Amen. And may you who have devoutly gathered this day at the shrine of Our Lady of Fatima carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joy and heavenly rewards. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a wonderful pilgrimage to Fatima. O oh, come to the throne of grace, O oh, come to the heart most pure, to Mary our hope of life, in whom salvation is sure. Oh,